Okay, thank you very much first for the opportunity to speak. So I'm not going to go through my slides because after hearing all the esteemed speakers, I'm in no position to speak to you all because all the people in front of me were too good. Okay, so my idea is to just ask a few questions and then we will just go through a few slides and then we are done and dusted for today. Okay, so the first question, what does URL stand for? URL. Sorry? Uh, no, 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 you are IT. Forget IT, put IT one side. What does URL stand for? You will get a present for me. It could be a free ticket to Singapore. It's, the, it's for you to answer. Anybody? URL. Except for Hussein, but he cannot answer. And Zainab cannot answer. Because they are too intelligent. Ma'am, URL? No. My earlier speaker said it. This fine young gentleman, sweet 16, he said it in his delivery. U is unlearn. R is relearn. What is L? Learn. Right? So when you talk about technology, global risk, we have to unlearn a lot of things. Right? We have to relearn. And we need to learn. We should not be slave to the technology. The problem is, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, young and old, today we are slave to technology. Right? When technology fails, we fail. Okay? If you thought Pakistan was not so advanced, don't be disappointed. Come to my country, you will see the disaster after disaster. So just last week, the entire airport had a shutdown because technology failed. Because for me to go back to my country, I don't need passport. Yeah, don't be shocked, ma'am. You don't need passport. You just have to walk. <coughs> go. Biometrics. But when that failed, kisi ko nahi pata what to do. Everybody was like headless chicken walking around. Kya karne ka hai, ma'am? Don't know. So they had no backup strategy. Right? So very important. Don't be slave to technology. Because today what is happening, when you wake up early in the morning, what do you do the first thing? Thank you, sir. You are my best friend. You are coming to Singapore. Pakka, I'm taking you with me. You look at your mobile phone, not at your partner. Because your partner won't run anywhere. But mobile phone will run away. Right? So URL, very important. The other thing, when you talk about technology risk, you need to understand this husband-wife theory. And again, this was not part of my speech. Eh? Believe me, I am just speaking off the cuff now. After hearing my fellow Toastmaster, the man, he disappeared. Yeah, because I'm also in Toastmasters. I understand. It's not easy. Okay, husband-wife theory. Who knows? Who is married down here? Sapne shadi kali na. To apko pata hona chahiye na. Kya hai husband-wife theory? Bolye ma'am. Singapore ka free ticket hai yar. Apko nahi jana hai Singapore? Paid holiday, all expenses paid. Sorry. Blank theory. Husband-wife theory in the interest of time. Wife is always right. Kabhi bibi se argue nahi karne ka. Okay? Yes, exactly. Congratulations to her. Wo bohat important hai, bhai log. Happy wife, happy life. Okay. So now we come to the real part of it. When we say, husband wife cherish the five W and the one H. So the where, the what, the why, the who, Will you? How? It's the husband. So in life, everything is very simple. Comes back to husband-wife theory. Right? Where? What? Why? Whom? How? Right? Simple. No need to go very far. Okay? 
The other thing, when you talk about technology risk, you all can go and read all this. It's all common sense, which is highly lacking in today's world. Kisi ke pas common sense nahi abhi. You just saw that what happened in America. So I don't have to say anything else. Right? Do bude log the. They are running for president. And then you got one came in, the other one did not. Right? So common sense is lacking. And the other thing is BA. BA is what? Not Bachelor of Arts. Business acumen. I think my friend here said, you know, you have to look at cradle to grave when you talk about IT, not in silo. A lot of companies do in silo, and then they say IT problem. IT problem. Computer cannot start IT problem. Printer cannot start IT problem. Anything cannot IT problem. The problem is not IT. The problem is PPT. What is PPT? Sir, you know what PPT is? Tell me, sir. Pakistan People Party. It's a good thing. Power Point. Power Point, no. It's People Process Technology. The biggest problem is what? People. Because people, you tell them to do A, they will do B. You tell them to do C, they will do F. Right? So just a simple example. Okay? So all this you all can go and read. Okay, I'm not here to tell you all this, all the comparison. What I want to show you is the challenges. This is the big problem worldwide. Right? The limited awareness and training. Because in technology risk, your biggest defense is what? Education and awareness. If you don't know what hit you, what are you going to protect? It's the black swan, no. You don't even know what hit you. Because what you know is what you know. Say it, right? You have to go to Singapore. Tuesday will come. There is a passport. It will come with me. 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 No problem. You are very slim, so I can put you in my... Okay? So what you know is what you know, what you don't know is what you don't know. But what lies between what you know and don't know will kill you. And most of the time, people don't understand technology. Right? Inadequate investment in cyber security, they only know the spelling of cyber security. Just now, the gentleman said, no, you put the people in the room and then what the board directors do? Talk. Because they have no idea what's happening. Then, Insufficient response to incident. When there is a tragedy, they don't know what to do. Just like when you had the crowd strike. Right? It happened worldwide, correct? McDonald's couldn't process the order in Singapore. McDonald's couldn't process the order in Singapore for five hours. Usne bola, my IT system is down. I don't know what to do. Okay? So big problem, common sense. Dependent on foreign expertise. In Pakistan itself, you got so many talented people. There's one sitting here. There's one sitting there. All of these are highly, and all of you are highly talented. Why you need to call people from other country? No need. In fact, they shouldn't even call me. I'm just making jokes. Okay? Cultural and linguistic barriers, very important to understand the cultural differences in any country. The mitigation strategy, then I will end off, it's to have robust cybersecurity framework. You need to understand cyber is there to stay. COVID changed the way we live, the way we were, sorry, the way we were born, the way we live, and the way we die. COVID changed everything. Because you had virtual born, you had virtual death. Okay? It changes everything. Invest in employee training and awareness. Do vulnerability assessment. Very important. Incident response planning. I cannot stress this. Most of the companies, they don't even do. I just talked to Hussein Bai this afternoon. I am just doing an audit for a wealth management company. So what did he say to me? He did three exercises. Okay, and he argued with me. He started the exercise at 6.05 p.m. Singapore time. 
And in 10 minutes, he completed the exercise. Completed. Audit finding, nothing. The call three was excellently done. I said, very good. Where is the board sign off? No, that's not it. I this person the phone, he has the phone, he has the phone, he has the phone, call three. I said, then what is that? It's rubbish. At the end of the day, it's all about documentation, correct? And there is no documentation. Scenario testing, he says, in the week of 9th September, we did this. I said, what did you do? I don't know. He said, the auditor should know. How will the auditor know what you did? Right? So, you have to be prepared and your defense is operational readiness is your only defense when there is technology risk. Operational readiness is your only defense. Okay? Regional collabor collaboration and sharing, information sharing, very important. Okay? So, the best practices you can read, again, there is a huge, huge talk about this worldwide to how to manage technology risk, right? I think EU has come up with a concept paper on artificial intelligence. ASEAN also has come up with a paper, and they say one thing and only one thing. Anybody wants to make a guess? That is my last sentence for today. Anybody wants to make a guess? What does the EU paper and the ASEAN paper say? And I think my fellow speaker from the State Bank mentioned that. The ethical use of data, the ethical use of data, you have to put the human at the heart of everything that you do. Because it has got huge implications. Right? You have to put the human at the heart of everything that you do. Because if you don't, the human will suffer. Technology is a good and the bad. Right? And managing technology risk requires only two things. All of you did this certificate. I think it's a brilliant program. I told Hussein Bai, I want to participate. He laughed. I said, I want enroll in this program. I want to learn. You just need two things. And if you never learn anything from me today, just remember these two things. You need common sense. And you need business acumen. It's not rocket science IT. That's all I want to say. Thank you and God bless.